Hello everybody and welcome to episode 3 in our Planet Coaster Challenge Park series. So, picking up from more or less where we left off, just off camera, all I've done is constructed this little building here, uh, just to make it, um, just to make the sh stores and the, and whatever else blend in a little more. I've added a, um, a pizza shop, pizza pan, pizza pan, pizza pen, pizza pen it's called, isn't it? There we go. Um, I've added that to the side there and built this little building. It's very simple. It's not overly detailed. Uh, I didn't want to spend too much time on it. And I didn't want to do an awful lot of camera either. Uh, just because I'd rather involve you guys with what's going on in the park. Um, the rides have also been replaced. The Skyzar, um over here has very recently been replaced. And so is this just because they became very old and unpopular. Um, and that's about it really, that's all that's really been going on in the park. But, what we're going to do in this episode is we're going to build another coaster. Yes, so soon. And I think we're going to get build this one here, the Madness. Which I've never ever built before and I've absolutely no idea how this works out oh sorry that's not the actual name of the thing that's a blueprint oh it's a looney turns coaster see i'm not actually overly interested in doing that so we're going to instead research a coaster whilst we're at it let's research a new thrill ride and that's fantastic um let's do information kiosk as well and then we'll just wait for those to uh, to research fully and become available and I'll be right back. And there we have it, we have all of our three research projects completed. So uh, let's reveal those, reveal research. On that first one it's Windigo. Hmm, not exactly what I was hoping for. And our thrill ride. Here's the forge. Again, not particularly interested in that one, and obviously that's our information kiosk. So we'll place our information kiosk and we'll instantly search a new coast. And our free spinning, I know that that's the one that you can lock and unlock and so on. And Apex Predator. I'm not entirely sure which coaster that is, so I'm just going to do that one just to get it out the way with. I'm just going to do 3,000 per month and that's going to take approximately 44 days so we'll be ready towards the end of November we can install our information kiosk so are any of these businesses here doing particularly poorly no they're all doing particularly well so, I think we can expand this building a little further. And we'll do... Uh, so it's that one there, information kiosk. I'm going to add it... Hmm. We'll add it to the end of the building just here. Get rid of that tree. we can there we go and we'll edit the building Let's just angle snap that and then we'll move that along to just there let's get rid of that fence there And then we'll move that like that. Okay, that's good. And then what we'll do is we'll just move the end of this building like this. And we'll do those ones as well.
fact, we'll place them over here. And then move those to the end of the building like this. Duplicate that one. There we go. And we'll also duplicate those ones in the advanced move. Like so. And we'll just place that over like that. And then duplicate our roof. And we are done. We have an information kiosk. An, in an information kiosk. I don't know what that is. And all we need now on there. I'm sorry, the sound of this merry-go-round is driving me absolutely crazy. Um, hmm. I'm going to just turn the volume a bit down. So, if we go into buildings and decoration, and I believe in here somewhere, there is an information sign. There it is. Bear with me here whilst I uh, make it clear what it is I'm doing here. a wooden piece in the middle there actually make sure that that is well within that and then we're going to advance duplicate and place it like that we're also going to do the same thing with the toilet sign and shop decorations. I seem to have wall signs. There we go. Uh, facility signs. Uh, there's the exact same style for toilet signs. Like that. One of the strange things about this sign is that on the reverse side of it is upside down but that's fine because we're going to duplicate it and spin it around there we go so there we go we have an information kiosk and we've added our signs for our toilets as well excellent how far are we from completing the research on our oh it's finished okay reveal and we'll see exactly what this is Again, Dragon Coaster, not even slightly the kind of coaster I wanted. And unfortunately, we don't have available the kind of coaster that I wanted for now. So, I think we're going to do something else. We've got, in fact, we're going to research that coaster and that thrill ride and... Uh, that gentle ride there and whilst those are running I think we should just build some another ride of some description hammer swing we haven't built that yet that could be quite interesting it's very very large um, I'm not entirely sure where we're gonna fit it without it just being completely in the way Maybe here? I don't see why not. Okay. Let's do the entrance to that at the rear and the exit at the front there. And then we'll bring the path just around it very simply. Like this. And uh, we might at least do something kind of, at least remotely interesting with this. We'll turn off angle snapping for that. Just so we can get it looking nice and smooth. Although it doesn't look smooth even slightly. Let's open that. 
we'll charge a tiny bit more for it and round this because it's very close to this and the style of it feels like it should have quite a bit of terrain going on around it so let's uh, let's do that let's give it a nice cliff face around the back like this we'll bring it right up we'll worry about the details once we've got that all sorted out and we'll smooth out some of it as well sorry flatten some of it So, like this is kind of the effect I wanted, and um, yeah, okay. So, if we now make that rocky on the inside. Like this. Yep. And then I'll just do a little bit of detailing there. Um, in fact, I'll do that as a time lapse. So uh, see you after this short time lapse. And that should just about do it for that right skin so um, it looks like that I got a little bit carried away just there I'm quite pleased with how the terrain came out with the shrubbery and all this foliage and all the rest of it and the rocks it looks it looks quite neat so if you get like down to the guest view here like this I think that looks really quite spectacular when you look up on those cliff faces and you see the ride from here with the roller coaster in the background uh, I'm relatively pleased with that however I don't know where what exactly it was I was trying to achieve here Ooh, trying to switch the camera there uh, with this building I went to put some windows and doors and things on it and just realized that I just don't have the uh, the necessary pieces available for theming just yet um, so there's obviously some uh, some more themings that I can research and stuff. Actually, we do have uh, these researches that are ready to be revealed. So this top one here is a, another really 
rubbish roller coaster one that I'm just not interested in at all. And we've got the rock to burst, that's okay, it's good for a pirate themed area once we've researched our pirate theming stuff. And we've got the cube, which is quite an interesting ride. And actually, it's one of the rides that's recently been updated with new lighting sequences and things. So we can we can definitely build that at some point in the very near future. I'm going to research a couple more coasters. And I'm also going to research the western theme. And that's probably going to give us some interesting doors and windows to add to this building here and finish it off and give it a little more wood detailing and so off. Um, I was a little bit disappointed at how modern this wood texture looked. I suppose it is after all a theme park and you know it's not everything's going to be absolutely spot on but we can probably decorate this up to look a bit more rustic and a bit old. So, moving on, and that's broken down. We do still have a mechanic on staff, don't we? Let's just check that. Um, mechanics? We do, okay. So that's fine. He, he will be on his way to repair that. In fact, there he is right there. Happy little man working away. Um, one of the things I did notice that popped up in the notifications whilst I was working on that was that our information kiosk closed. And that is completely my fault because we opened the information kiosk but gave absolutely no one any reason whatsoever to visit that because we didn't build any priority queues. So if we build priority queue into here, look how that worked out. That's absolutely brilliant. There we go. Now got a priority queue for that ride. And we can pretty much just as easily put a priority queue on this ride as well. We'll just remove some of the plants just there. And enable priority pass, place entrance there, and place exit there. And then we'll build a queue going across like that, which cuts out all that part there. And then can do exactly the same for this ride just here. Enable priority pass, place entrance there, and place exit there. Fantastic. This one is not quite as straightforward. Straightforward nonetheless. So we'll place the entrance to our priority queue just there. And the exit to it somewhere along here, surely. Just there. We'll remove some of these plants there. Not letting me connect that up. Um, well, that'll do. Yeah. And now with the roller coaster over here, which is completely empty for some bizarre reason, it says aging, looks really old and okay. So um, it's become too expensive because of the age of the ride. So what we're going to do is a nifty little trick here. Is we're just going to save it. Why has the, there we go? I'm just going to save that like that, and we're going to. Hasn't broken down, but the guy oh he's obviously inspecting it. So whilst he does that, actually it's a very good opportunity. We can just remove some of the path. And enable the priority queue, place the entrance here, and replace the exit all the way up here, and then we can connect those 
directly through and we'll just have to obviously move some of the rocks that are in the way here. just so it's not obscuring the path and we'll fix this ride simply by deleting it and then we'll build it again via the blueprint we saved and we just have to find the right positioning for that I think that is about right. It looks pretty good. There we go. The entrance and the exit. Reconnect the path to the entrance. There we go. And we have to uh, fix that priority path that we've only just created. A little bit irritating. Oh, that's actually the entrance there. Got them the wrong way around. There we go. Aha! Uh -huh. We run a test. Let's just speed things up. Excellent, and we'll open that ride once more. Well, that now has a priority pass, and it's a completely new ride according to everyone in the park, and they should just flock to it. And I think that should do it for this one. I, I know, like I said at the beginning of the uh, video, we would be building another coaster, but we didn't because we couldn't research any good ones um, but that's okay we'll we'll get round to that in a, in, a, in a video in the very very near future but thanks for watching uh, remember to subscribe click the like button it helps out a great deal and uh, see you in the next video mm -hmm.